Grace and peace to you, my friends. My name is Dorian Del Priori, and I am the canon for mission and evangelism at Trinity Cathedral. My favorite Easter hymn is number 204. Now the green blade riseth from the buried grain. We eat that in dark earth many days has lain. Love lives again that with the dead has been. Love is come again like wheat that springeth green. As we reflect on signs of new life, I'm actually drawn to the fourth verse. And it begins, when our hearts are wintry, grieving, or in pain, thy touch can call us back to life again. As more restrictions have been put in place, more and more of our mission and outreach ministries have been shut down or at least greatly limited. Parishioners have leaned in and stepped up in creative ways to continue to make a difference in the community where we're able. For instance, we have a partnership with W.A. Perry Middle School, and our volunteers continue to provide backpacks of food, packing multiple weeks at a time. I find myself particularly inspired by our Sunday morning breakfast. For about 40 years, Trinity Cathedral has been serving breakfast on Sunday mornings to the homeless and working poor. We didn't want to stop. As we're the only organization in the area outside of shelters that still provide a meal on Sundays, this ministry is considered essential. I'm grateful for the leadership of this ministry. David Pable, Jack Godbold, Lynn Butler, Rusty Miller, and Jane Tyre, and their desire to continue this ministry, to continue to serve them as vulnerable. Of course, we had to make adjustments. Uh, meals are now outside and they're given in to-go boxes. We have to limit the number of volunteers so that we can maintain uh, social distancing requirements and comply with recommendations that are given to us. But it's working well, very well. There's a lot of gratitude from the community. There's an outpouring of joy. As I think about this ministry, I'm reminded of the Beatitudes. According to Jesuit priest Gregory Boyle, some scripture scholars contend that the original language of the Beatitudes should not necessarily be rendered as blessed are the peacemakers or blessed are those who struggle for justice. They would say the greater precision in translation would say, you're in the right place if you work for peace or you're in the right place if you're with those who struggle for justice. Beatitudes, it's not a conceptual spirituality. It's about geography. The Beatitudes tell us where to stand. You're in the right place if you're with the merciful. You're in the right place if you're with those who mourn. That's their comfort. You're in the right place if you're with the poor in spirit. The former Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, wrote that when we ask the question, where might you expect to find the baptized? One answer is, in the neighborhood of chaos. This means that you might expect to find Christian people near those places where humanity is most at risk, most disordered, most vulnerable, where they're hurting, where they're needy. Baptism means being with Jesus in the depths, the depths of human need, the depths of God's love in the depths of where God is recreating and renewing human life. Our Sunday breakfast is a green blade, a sprout of joy and hope pushing through the dirt. That is a sign of life amongst the anxiety and doubt of the circumstances in which we live, calling us back to life. Each week, each Sunday morning, I get to witness that love is come again. My friends, hallelujah, Christ is risen. May God bless you and be with you this Easter season. Amen.